Okay. So why do you need a niche? If you have not watched already, I've made a video before about what is a niche. Now we're going to talk about why do you need a niche? I'm telling you do, and it's going to change your business. So stick around and make sure you watch till the end. These are great nuggets to help you grow your business. A niche will help your business explode. I'm not joking. I watch it. I trend it. I coach real estate agents. I'm launching my group coaching, which we're going to talk about all this stuff inside the group coaching, dig deep and help people uncover stuff. I know how important it is. I want you to understand how important it is too and start working on it. It is not easy to figure it out, but once you do and you start implementing it, it will change everything for you. It will change your business. It will change your life forever. So I encourage you, stick around. It's a short video. I'm here to help you. Hi, I'm Coco. I am your real estate coach and trainer. I'm here to help you grow your business and your income and have a better life. All right, let's get into it. So why do you need a niche? A niche will help you find your tribe. Your tribe is important to understand because they're the people who are going to follow you. So I'm part of Silicon Valley Real Producers, and I was featured in the magazine my third year. I'm in my seventh year now. And here's the biggest thing, right? I had people ask me, wait, wait, Coco, you're not the best at follow-up. No, I'm not. <laughs> you're, you're, you, don't, you don't sit there farming large markets. Nope, I don't do that. But you don't do this. You don't like literally the top producing agents were like, wait a minute. You don't do this. You don't do that. You don't do this. You don't do that. How are you a top producing agent? I have built a tribe of clients around me and I get referrals from them. And I don't just get any referrals. I have trained my clients to give me the right referrals, the ones that fit in my niche, the one that I like. So why is a niche important? Because once you know exactly what you want to be the expert at and you're really focused, then, only then, can you go out in the world and share it and talk about it and be the expert, get better at it, grow, expand. So when you do get new clients and you do get people who want to come and work with you, you can actually communicate all the different aspects. Instead, I remember when I first started real estate, my first time, I didn't know anything, like nothing. I had no experience. Nobody in my family was a real estate agent, nothing. I sold six deals in eight months and I was rookie of the year at one of the largest brokerages. Why? Because I just looked at everything and I threw things at the wall and I said, this works, that works, this works, that works. But guess what? My next year, I knew what I wanted to do because I looked back at the first year and I said, this is what I noticed happened. These are the people I focused on. So now I can do this. That helped me understand who my tribe is. And as I'm growing with my tribe, right? Because it's always changing. You can change your niche. But now that my tribe is growing and expanding and changing, I have people who are there no matter what. That's what you want to build. You got to build a tribe. You cannot build a tribe around you if you don't have a niche, right? You won't get that ultimate love for you. I guess it's the way to say it. Like I always think of a tribe as like that school spirit where you go in and it doesn't matter if you win or lose as a sports team in this, at the school, right? If you ever played sports, your school will still love you, right? They still rally around you. You still go and do all the activities. Like they still love you. You're still amazing. That's what you want. You want that tribe. Next, focus, right? If you want to truly be successful, you have to focus. Focus brings you fulfillment and achievements that you never thought you'll be able to obtain. Many real estate agents, unfortunately, this may be you or not, cannot focus, okay? We are like squirrels, <laughs> gold, shiny objects everywhere. I'm not joking. I, I, I do it myself, so I can joke about it, right? It is hard. But once you have a niche, this is why it's so important. Once you have a niche, you can focus your attention down. When you focus, it is one of the best things you could ever do. And if you've ever done it, post me a comment and tell me how it was. Because when I really truly get focused, I get in a flow. Like we call it in the world out there, um, a creative world, it's called the flow. When I'm really focused in on something and I know really what I want to accomplish, the flow comes out and I'm like, wow, the focus drives you 
And then I have these aha moments with the focus where I'm like, aha, like now I know what I was supposed to do. So if you allow yourself to get that true focus and to sit down and understand something enough, it drives you. You'll, you'll notice, I know this sounds weird again, because this is who I am. Your subconscious is doing a lot. Think of it like your computer or your cell phone in the background. Like you could be talking on a phone call, but it's downloading your email. It's checking your other apps. It's pulling in notifications from here. It's doing a lot in the background. Your subconscious does the same thing. So when you are truly focused on something, your subconscious is working in the background going, okay, her goal is to do X. All right, how can we get her to her goal? And then all of a sudden things start showing up as you're focused. And you're like, one thing moves you to another. And then all of a sudden you have that aha moment where things either just click or you realize something. And that was me with why I needed a niche. Once I focused down on my niche and I really put the focus to it, my ahas were huge. Like I was closing deals. I was getting referrals. It was easy. So I want to really encourage you to focus on your specific niche learn it, whatever it is you have to learn. So you want to be a first time home buyer, understand the pain that first time home buyer has, understand the difficulties, understand the market conditions, understand the interest rates, how they work, what you need to know about it. You are not a lender. So you don't need to be the expert, but you need to know enough to educate your clients to go ask the right questions. That's what's so important with focus. You become a real expert. So I'm going to leave you with this. Okay. Having a niche will create so much wealth for you and so much ease. It's almost like taking a weight off your shoulders. If you feel like you are just confused or concerned or you're running rampant, like I talked about, once you focus and you niche it down to what you want, you feel this massive weight come off your shoulders and you will realize that you are doing the right thing. When you have a heaviness on you, it's because you're unsure of what you're doing, or you are in conflict with your inner self, right? So you have to niche down, you have to focus, you have to understand who you are, who your tribe is. And I promise you, your business will explode. I hope you like this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please leave me a comment below. You can always sign up. I will put my calendar link um, in the comments below as well. If you want to have a free 30 minute call with me and just talk about this, because I know it's really hard. I have a lot of agents who I coach who struggle with this. I am more than happy to do a free 30 minute call with you and help you identify this so that you can go out in the world and start seeing the success that you want. Again, I'm Coco. I'm here as your coach and trainer to help you through your crazy real estate markets and to make sure that you are finding the success in real estate, your business, and in your life. So I look forward to seeing you on the next video and I hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.